back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive WWE Elite Ultimate Warrior from WrestleMania 12. Now, I think a lot of people have been looking forward to this figure. I think one of the most appealing aspects about this figure was the attire. And if you guys would like to grab this figure before we even dive into the review, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. When shopping over there, you can get in on all the great deals and sales and WWE figures upcoming, AEW figures. I think AEW Series 5 is up for pre-order right now. They released the images to us just the other day, and you definitely want to get that pre-order in. But here is the packaging, guys. Ringside exclusive. You know it's going to be epic. You got the old WWE logo down here, of course. It kind of sucks when you get into flashbacks, man, because it's no longer WWF, and, you know, it kind of interferes with accuracy and stuff. But Ultimate Warrior down here in the nice font. You got the viewing window here with the nice warrior style, like face paint or logo kind of design in the packaging. You get the sparks flying around. Ringside exclusive up here. It is embossed on there. No longer a sticker. You have an image of Warrior on the side. On the back, you get a nice image of Warrior here, as well as WrestleMania 12 logo and a nice little bio read breaking down everything. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it right now. Besides that, guys, we also have another image of Warrior on the side, and that's pretty much it for our packaging. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack Ultimate Warrior out of his packaging and find out what this figure is all about and dive into all the details. Tails. So here's the Ultimate Warrior out of the packaging. Guys, coming with this nice WrestleMania 12, like, stage entrance way background, if you will. It's got, like, solid black. You got the WrestleMania logo. You got, like, the electricity or the static shot coming off the back of the entrance way. Kind of looks like a portal, which is pretty cool, so I can get the hell out of here. But looking at this Ultimate Warrior, I'm really digging it. It just gives me a real Superman vibe to it. I mean, that's, that's what a lot of people consider Ultimate Warrior to be anyways. But what we're going to do, since this is the only figure, man, we don't have two figures today. So we're going to dive into Ultimate Warrior's accessories and then uh, we're going to dive into the Ultimate Warrior. So let's shut the hell up and dive into the Ultimate Warrior ringside exclusive ex 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 uh, accessories. Damn. So getting into Ultimate Warriors accessories, guys, I think the main thing that people are really enjoying about this exclusive is the entrance jacket. You know, anytime we get a really nice entrance coat or entrance vest or anything like that from Mattel, I think a lot of people enjoy it, me included, man. This yellow collar really stands out nice. You get some nice Ultimate Warrior logos going on down the sides in this blue and white, like, stripes color. You got some nice ribbons and red. I love, like, the airbrushing detail that went into his entrance vest and his gear was so sick, and it was just, it was just beautiful, man. It really was. I'm not an Ultimate Warrior guy, but his gear was always pretty damn fire. On the back, you get a beautiful looking, like, illustration of the Ultimate Warrior with the pants and everything going on. I mean, he looks like a freak, man. I mean, this is pretty much a great comic book-esque illustration of the Ultimate Warrior. On the back, you do get some nice designs here. Ultimate Warrior logo there. Just epic stuff overall, dude. And if you flail it out right there, you can see the cut in the middle for better posability. And this is just so much better than rubber, man. Like, no doubt about it, if we could get this with every figure you know, every figure included a nice cloth accessory. It would be insane, but uh, this is just insane, man. What epic stuff going on. This is beautiful. Really nice. Goes on the figure. Nice. You guys already saw how it looked on the figure. Outside of that, we do have interchangeable hands, as we always get with our Mattel figures. You do have, like, the throne sitting or the open palm style hands. You get a pair of mic holding hands for epic promo ability, and then you also get the double fist. If you guys are wondering where the other hands are, they are on the figure, which would be the other mic holding hand here and then the other fist over here now another thing about ultimate warrior figures is you could include his bicep bands and stuff as accessories but i don't really like to do that but it is cool that you know these actually you're probably wondering why can you take these out well the point is is if you wanted to pose him running you could make the tassels flail back like this and you could rotate them forward and stuff like that so that is really cool i don't know if the ultimate edition was the first figure to do that for ultimate warrior i feel like it was it may not have been but really nice addition to the thing, and you also get his wrist gauntlets on there, but that does it for the Ultimate Warriors accessories, guys. Let's dive into the details of the figure itself. So getting into the Ultimate Warrior himself, guys, starting out at the head sculpt, I believe this is a brand new head sculpt. I don't think we've seen this before, but I really like the hair sculpt. I think the hair sculpt looks good. The blondish light brown looks really good. My face paint, I feel like my eyes are maybe a little bit off-centered, at least. I, I don't know if it's coming across on camera. You can tell more in person, but it looks like it's like slightly aligned to the left a little bit. Not a big 
deal, but it is worth noting. The face paint on there looks pretty solid, though. I don't know about this expression, really. I don't know if, like, I don't know why they went with this expression. I think it was more of, like, from his entrance or, like, a running pose, you know? Like, he's running down the ramp, which, it, which is fine with me. It's just a little bit different. I guess it is cool that it's new, but I think more of the gritty or the serious tone would probably work a little bit better, but it's not a big deal. I like it. You know, it's not, you, know, you, you, you get the idea. Going down to the torso, this is the same exact formula we always get for Ultimate Warrior. I think it looks great. You know, he was a freak of nature. His physique was insane, regardless of the roids and the injections and the hey, hey, it hurts me. This is, uh, this is pretty much what he looked like. He was a freak specimen, so the formula doesn't bother me at all. You do get the orange and yellow tassels going down. You get the red and orange over on this side. Really bright and beautiful attire. I always love this gear. You know, looking back at this gear in photos and stuff like that, of course, I wasn't around at the time of the event. And I was actually born two months later after this event. But the trunks look really good. The blue and white looks nice. The Warrior logo is going on on the back. You get the same Warrior logo there. Really nice cleanliness to the attire. You do get the wrist gauntlets as well that are removable. If you wanted to remove those for whatever reason, you could pop the hand out and pop these off. You get the orange tassels on the end of those. Those look really good. Tattoos look good. Going down into the legs. Knee pads look great. For some reason, my left thigh is super duper loose. Like, look at this, dude. Like, I'm barely even grasping it. You guys can see the thigh gap right there. It is, like, ultra loose. I don't think I've had a figure like this since Elite 57 Ty Dillinger, but that's annoying, especially with an exclusive like this. So hopefully your guys isn't like that, but mine is crazy, like, insanely loose. On the back here, we do get some purple and yellow. I lost one of the tassels. I found it over here. Get the hell back in there before we have a damn problem. So sticking that back in there, again, it does have the same issue where you can rotate it for him running and things like that for figure photography, but going down, you do have the white boot covers, you have the red boots, and then you have the white warrior logos with the outsoles, and that is pretty much it. Pretty damn nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like this Ultimate Warrior. How many times can I hit the damn camera? I mean, it's been like four times. How about we not do that? But the Warrior figure looks great. I like the way it looks. I think the posability is good, except for this damn thigh rotation. That's insanity, but Ultimate Warrior is looking pretty ultimate. So for your Ultimate Warrior comparisons, now this is one thing I will say. I feel like Mattel definitely, if you're a Warrior fan, Macho fan, Hulk Hogan, man, if you are one of those fans, they definitely give you the hookup on the figures. Like, they have made a ton of those guys. I know they've made Cena, so don't say, when I make a hundred Cenas, yeah, they do make a hundred Cenas. Alright? And I know it. And I enjoy it. I've collected them all. And I enjoy those Cena figures. I love them. I'm just saying there's some attires of some other guys that I'd like to see sometimes. But here's the Hall of Fame Warrior. Here is the Elite. Is it Elite 27 or Elite 29? I think it's Elite 29 Warrior. Who the hell cares? You guys can see the differences in their gear and stuff. Ultimate Warrior is very figurific though I will say because his gear was always bright and colorful and it looks good up on a shelf with all the different Warriors. And if you guys want to see what the Ultimate Edition look like, here is the Ultimate Edition Warrior up there. And outside of the Legends one, these are actually the only Warriors that I have, so I really don't even collect Warriors that much. As many Macho Man, I love Macho Man, but as much as, you know, figures they've made of those guys, I don't really collect the Macho Man and the Ultimate Warrior figures, even though one day I will track them all down. It's just a crazy thing to think about. And then for your other figure comparisons, guys, here is Ultimate Warrior's WrestleMania 12 opponent that he absolutely destroyed. You have Hunter Hearst Helmsley here, and yeah, I think it would have been cool to see Triple H versus Ultimate Warrior. I think that'd be nice, but this was way before that time, and yeah, so if you wanted to see what that looked like, there is Ultimate Warrior and Triple H, or Hunter Herself's Lee, my bad. But I think that pretty much wraps up this review on the ringside exclusive WWE Elite WrestleMania 12 Ultimate Warrior from Mattel. Really enjoyed the review. I always enjoy reviewing the brand new wrestling figures that we get, man. Mattel and Jazz Wears going at it, and this time Mattel did do an outstanding job on this Ultimate Warrior. Again, not an Ultimate Warrior guy, but if you are, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, pick up the Ultimate Warrior from WrestleMania 12 outside of my loose thigh swivel. Think it's a really great figure. If you're an Ultimate Warrior fan, if you enjoy Ultimate Warrior, you have some sentiment to WrestleMania 12 or something like that, man, this may be the figure for you. You want it for your Hunter Hearst Helmsley display or something, definitely go track it down. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think that it is a really good Ultimate Warrior. Like, if you can't find any other ones, you know, if they're really expensive or you can't, you know, whatever 
whatever the case is, man, this may be the perfect Ultimate Warrior to put in your collection because of how great the attire is, how it looks, everything like that. But that pretty much does it for my review, man. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are. For a random shout-out today, it is going to go to my boy Prius, who says, MDT, AEW released a new weapon pack, which looks freaking sick. KO and Brock Lesnar at My Damn Nation with the demon face and the fire emoji. And yes, Brad, I think that KO and Brock Lesnar are going to do war when they officially clash. And speaking of which, if you guys would like the PickFed update video tomorrow, let me know down in the comments section below. We can dive into all the different aspects and everything that I'm thinking and just everything. I don't know exactly how that video will go, but we'll just kind of break down everything that's going on and taking place and you guys will find out about it and everything like that. But thank you guys for watching the Ultimate War Review. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And uh, you already know the deal, Brad. WrestleMania 12, Ultimate Warrior walked out there, killed Hunter Hearst Helmsley, and you know what he did, Brad? Ultimate Warrior? You cross